What up, though? And welcome back to Old School Hip Hop Head Real Reacts. I also have another YouTube channel called Reels Reactions. And on that YouTube channel, it's 99% old school golden era hip hop. So if you're ever in a mood to watch some old school hip hop reactions, all you have to do is go to the link that I'm going to put in the description of this video, and it'll take you directly to Reels Reactions. Now, Today's reaction is a subscriber request. Shout out to the girl, Miss Whitney, for this one. This is Men at Work, Who Can It Be Now? Um, this song's old as a motherfucker song. Yo, this song is mad old. This song was one of my joints when I was a kid, son. You know, when I think back on it, like I listened to a lot of rock music um, when I was a kid, but it was more like something like this was more considered like pop than rock. Uh, that's just how I how I think it played out. So this shit was like played on the radio and MTV and stuff like that all the time back when I was a kid. So uh, all right, without further ado, shout out to all them boys in the land down under, aka Australia, and they number one group men at work. Let's go. Oh wait, wait, wait. Men at work probably ain't the number one group from Australia. It's got to be ACDC, right? My bad, my bad, my bad. ACDC. Well, Men at Work is some of Australia's favorite sons, too. You know what I mean? All right, let's get it. Get the way you're right. Okay, that was self-explanatory. I'm going to go out on a limb and say my man has social anxiety disorder and is an extreme introvert. Or he could just be on a run from the authorities. So who's his childhood friends? Like the radio? Like he started hugging an amplifier when he said that. I like it here with my childhood friend. Here they come. Just feelings again. Who can it be now? 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 He said the man come to take me away. Yo. This alien coming to knock on his door is very appropriate in 2023. If you look at the rapid rate that the government is declassifying and talking about UFOs 
and extraterrestrials. You know what I mean? Um, it's like all the science that people have been talking about forever and ever. Um, they finally starting to accept that shit. You know what I mean? Shout out to George Nori. Uh, what was the other guy's name? Damn, I forgot the, the fucking other dude. Something that. Uh, and um, and Joe Rogan and all those type of people. You know what I mean? Who be uh, been talking about this UFO conspiracy shit for decades. I mean, let's be honest. It's not like they really had a chance at this point, considering Harry Mack is dropping motherfucking videos twice a week. You know what I'm saying? If you ever saw Harry Mack freestyle, you will know that extraterrestrials are amongst us walking this planet Earth. All right, let's get back to it. He said the man come to take me away. Why do they follow me? Because you're crazy. It's not the future that I can see. It's just my fantasy. So is he saying, like, you know, the government's after him because they think he can fucking see the future? What do they call that? Like I said, shout out to George Nori and all the people on Coast to Coast AM. Uh, I just can't remember what the actual name of those people who see the future is. You know what I mean? But that was, that was you know, I wonder what's the deeper meaning of this song. Is he bouncing around like that? <laughs> Yo, my man has the cheapest on stage costume in the history of on stage costumes, unless he was fucking naked. Like, look at my man back here in his straight up underwear, son. <laughs> like, is those underwear supposed to be shorts? It looked like he's been walking around his fucking apartment in his underwear and a wife beater all day, and he just showed up at the fucking show. They was like, hey, Gus, you ready? We outside. Grab your shit. We gotta go. <laughs> he just ran downstairs, <laughs> grabbed his guitar, and got the fuck out of Dodge. You know what I mean? Man, yo, there it is. Shout out to Miss Whitney for this OD but goody, son. Men at work, who can it be now? Like I said before, I would like to know like if there's a deeper meaning to this song or if it was just like some comedy type shit they were doing. And also, as I said during the video, when he said uh, people come to the door and he not, not qu he walked quietly so they don't know he inside, I be doing that shit all the time. So I'm going to tell you right now, nigga. If you come over unannounced, you better be my motherfucking mother or somebody I've known since I was like five years old. Otherwise, I'm just going to pretend like I ain't here and not even think about answering the goddamn door. You know what I mean? That's just how it goes. <laughs> so, all right, yo, on to the next one. I'm out.